Hi, this is Richard C. I'm a math tutor here at Wyden, answering a question submitting, submitted by a student. This is uh, from calculus, and they're studying the mean value theorem. So we're going to talk about that. I want to, the very first thing I like to do with most calculus problems is I want to draw a graph. Now we only have to, our function is the square root of 4 minus x squared. And we only have to worry about the right hand of this. So when x is 0, y is 2. When x is 2, y is 0. And so it's a curve looking something like that. And um, this is 2 comma 0 here. 0 comma 2. So the first thing we want to do, the mean value theorem says that there exists a C, a value C here, where the slope of the tangent line at C is equal to the slope of the secant line. So we're going to start off by drawing the secant line and getting that slope. I'm going to change color here and try to do a good secant line for you. The secant line is going to run right through the starting point and the ending point like that. And let's go back here and get the slope of the secant. Now it goes through these two points, 0, 2, and 2, 0. And so m is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, which is just change in y over change in x. So it's 2 minus 0 over 0 minus 2. So the slope is negative 1. And I think, you know, it looks like I can't draw these things to scale, but this is uh, looks reasonable for a slope of negative 1. And the way C is positioned looks promising. Uh, we want the uh, slope of the tangent curve, which is the first derivative. And I'll change colors for that. And let's see if I can draw that reasonably well. Get a, uh, just testing my drawing skills today. And that's a tangent line. That's pretty good. So it's a tangent line here. And you can see that these lines look, look reasonable. So we need to find this value, see where the slope of the tangent line is equal to the slope of the secant line, therefore, thereby illustrating the mean value theorem. So let's take the function f of x which is the square root of 4 minus x squared. And we'll take the derivative. I'm going to write it as 4 minus x squared to the 1 half power, because I think that's a lot easier. And we'll find the derivative f prime of x. So it's going to be 1 half times 4 minus x squared times negative 2x. So that's just using chain rule. Hopefully you've seen that in school. The halves cancel on your left with uh, negative x times, oops, negative 1 half. Sorry, missed that exponent. So because I have a negative exponent there, this part of it is power rule, and then this part of it is the chain rule. Overall, it's a chain rule problem. Okay, so the twos cancel, and you're left with negative x all over square root 4 minus x squared. Well, that's the slope of the tangent line at x. and we want 
that slope to be the same as the slope of the secant line. So we set that to negative one. And then we're going to get x equals the square root of 4 minus x squared. And now we're going to square both sides. x squared equals 4 minus x squared. And then the next step would be bring over the x squared. You're going to get 2x squared equals 4. And then x squared equals 2. So x would be plus or minus square root of 2, but we only need to worry about the positive square root of 2 because we're only interested in the interval on the right-hand side, and that's been given to us by the problem. We're only considering between 0 and 2. So this is just telling, that, telling us that x is the c here is the square root of 2. And now we can test it if we wanted to and just make sure. So I'll use another color, third color today, colorful day, purple, let's see. We'll plug in and we'll just try to prove this square root of two. So F, it would just mean, I'm just gonna take it, I'm taking it from here. Oops, that didn't change. Sorry, I'm still in blue. Oh, come on, guys. Let's get that purple going. All right. Still won't change. There we go. Okay, so I'm taking that over here. So I want to evaluate first derivative when x is 2. So it's negative root 2 over square root 4 minus, uh, well, square root of 2 squared is 2. So it's negative root 2 over root 2. So in fact, the slope of the secant line when x is equal to root 2 is negative 1. So that's it's nice to see that. So we proved that this slope of the blue line is negative 1. We already found that the slope of the green line is negative 1. And that's it. That's the entire problem. It's, um, you know, not too much, not too hard, I don't think. Um, the mean value theorem is something, you know, it's one of these things that they teach. Um, and I think it makes sense. There, it's from a physics point of view, it, it actually makes a lot of sense here. Um, if this were uh, time and distance here, uh, what it would be telling you is that if you're driving your car from point A to point B, for example, at some point, you're, you're, the speedometer is going to be equal to the average rate of speed uh, during your trip. So you can think of it that way, uh, sort of a physics kind of interpretation of the mean value theorem. So it's, it's useful, uh, especially when you think about it in terms of physics. So that's it for today. That's, uh, hopefully that went well for you. And now you understand how to apply the mean value theorem. See you next time. Bye-bye. Thank you.